was it being back with Cam on the sideline? <laughs> Yeah, it was a blast. It was a lot of fun, obviously. You know, the energy that he brings is, you know, unlike anyone I've ever met. So definitely good having him back. Was it noticeable, that level of energy? Because Hassan said he was the same, the level of energy. How much did that have to do with Cam? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think overall, you know, it's, it's fun when, you, you know, it's easy to have energy when you're winning, obviously. You know, you got to make plays to have that. But, but even when, you know, there were lulls, <clears throat> you know, I mean, you guys know Cam. I know Cam. He's he's the same guy all the time, and, and that's important. And uh, having somebody like that on the sideline and in the game is always fun. And then the red zone, I guess having him, does that make things easier at all for you um, in that red zone situation? I think it just makes, you know, it just gives the defense another thing that they got to prepare for. You know, he's he's a special player in, in every way. So it uh, definitely gives just, once again, different looks for a defense to have to have to prepare for. I was just so proud of him, you know, I mean, <laughs> he he's somebody that just, you know, puts his head down and goes to work every single day, uh, always has a smile on his face, always is positive. And, you know, there was a, a lot of noise, you know, going around him. And um, it's just such a cool story in and of itself, you know, that, that he comes here and gets to start this week and we beat a hell of a team uh, on the road and, um, I was just really proud of him, and, and it was fun playing next to him today. What's it like seeing Cam in a Panthers jersey again? Is it like he never left, or is it deja vu? I mean, what, what, what's yeah. that like today? <clears throat> yeah, it's like, you know, my career just kind of doing this a little bit um, and, and, you know, having him back and just seeing him again. You know, we, we had a lot of good moments, you know, when, when he was here, and having him back has, has just been great. It's been a lot of fun. We didn't get to talk to you during the week after that. This division is up for grabs. Like we, we want to make this move and put ourselves in playoff position. Before you guys play today, the all other three NFC South teams all lost. Were you all aware of that? And just what do you think it meant when you see them go and get a player of Cam's scout? Yeah, I think one thing that's consistent in our building is, is every single person wants to win, you know? And that's, you know, obviously the story is, has, has been Cam this whole week, but. Um, you know, one thing I see out of Cam that's, that's no different than, than what I've ever seen before, but um, he's here to win, you know, and everybody's here to win. Coaches, GMs, you know, the equipment guys, everybody wants to win, and that means doing, you know, whatever needs to be done to win. And so, um, you know, we, we have a lot of guys that have been in and out of our team. You know, we're trying to put, the, you know, not we, I don't make those decisions, but you know what I mean? Like, everybody's trying to put the pieces together because we know we can go win. I think it's important to know that. And, and I think today was a good uh, example of the team that we can be. You know, we saw it in, our, in the first three games. We saw it against Atlanta. And uh, we know we can be We know we know can be special. It's just a matter of going out there and executing every week. <laughs> what having Cam in there means for you, though, as far as teams keying on him, especially in the, in the red zone? You know, I, just, I really just focus on my job. You know, whether, whoever's at quarterback, whoever's in the game, I just – do everything I can to, you know, stay in my lane, and, and I'm available for whoever it is, you know, and just make everybody's job easier as, as much as I can, and just be accountable and be there for my teammates. Had you had the hard start, you know, earlier this season, and then you know you had a stretch of games that you dropped, and now that you had the issue of Sam, you know, going on IR, and not also now with Cam back, did that give you a shot of confidence as a team to have him back in the roster, yeah, going into the game? <coughs> Yeah, you know, I, I don't know if confidence has ever been the issue, just execution, you know what I mean? And um, that comes from a lot of different things, you know. And so I think the biggest thing that, that you know, we're honing in on is not just um, not just confidence, but, but learning how to use that confidence and, and put it into execution and, and not overcomplicate things and just do our job every single day and, um, you know, make plays. Christian, were you trying to lobby to get back on the field there late a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, I always am. I was joking around, but you know, it, you, you want to play, but I completely understand. Yeah, what, what was it like watching the way that was going? Though, I mean, when the run game in Atlanta it went really well without you in there, what's it like seeing those other guys contribute? Oh, it's a blast. You know, it's like you said, this is such a team game, and um, having that, keeping the momentum going, keeping the chains moving, and being able to get a rest and, and, a, and a breather, and then come back out fresh and. 
being able to continue to move the ball forward. I mean, I think that what our O-line did today, too, was a massive statement, you know, and I want to give a shout out to them because they were under a lot of scrutiny. You know, there's a lot of noise talking about our O-line and, and, you know, disrespecting the way that those guys played, and they took that personally and um, went out there today and, and played a hell of a game. So, um, you know, we they're, they're like the silent assassins, you know, they, they only get mentioned when something bad happens. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of strong guys who, you know, mentally and emotionally who can take all that criticism and continue to fight, you know, continue to work, you know, with, with guys down and injured and uh, step up and, and play a game like that and, and dominate like that was awesome. Yeah, I, I like, <laughs> I, I guess I tripped on somebody's foot coming off the field. I kind of look like an idiot tripping, and I remember thinking in my head, you know, I, I hope they don't think that I, like, stumbled. And next thing you know, Doc's coming over, like, we got to check you for a concussion. I'm like, concussion? What the? I didn't even get hit. What are you talking about? So I went in the tent, and, you know, they, they just had to make sure I was good. But, I, yeah, you know, I, was, I didn't even get hit in the head. I think they just saw me stumble. So I just got to keep my feet, I guess. But. I saw you rolling out your hamstrings. <clears throat> yeah, just trying to be proactive. That's all. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys.